Hi everyone, uh, my name is Bryce Marquis. I'm going to be your professor for the quantitative analysis course that you're all registered for, hopefully. Uh, um, I just want to send you a, a little welcome note to, to introduce you to the website and to prepare you for class. Um, first of all, there's going to be, we will be having lab this Thursday, so uh, make sure you all are, are there at your scheduled times. We're just, it's going to be a, a fairly short lab. We're just going to be checking in, making sure everybody's got the proper glassware so next Tuesday we can really hit the ground running. Um, I want to give you a little introduction to the Blackboard website. If you look at the website you'll see on the left hand side there's a bunch of links. Uh, typically what's going to happen when you get onto the course website you're going to see an announcements page which is the main home page. I'll put all, all of the relevant information for the week there and it will also be posted in the links on the side that go to the lab and the lecture sections. Uh, anything you want to find in the uh, those posted previously will also be uh, posted in those lab and lecture sections. So, so just make sure you get familiar with that. There's also a calendar uh, where I'll post the deadlines and things like that. That calendar will change, so make sure you check back often. Um, there's going to be a uh, you're going to have a, uh, your groups will be there as well. Um, the groups uh, are going to probably change a little bit during the first couple first week or so as we uh, get really make sure our enrollment is, is hammered out, but but in that group section you go, you'll handle all your communication with your group members for both lab and lecture. We're going to have some groups. Um, so I just want to mention a couple things about lab, uh, about the course. Uh, I had a couple questions about the, the required textbooks. The required textbook is this uh, quantitative analysis by Harris. It's available at the bookstore, but you can get cheaper uh, used or, or uh, another, another bookstore. So Make sure you get that. Um, and as far as the lab goes, you're going to need a few things. You need a lab notebook. And our lab notebooks are going to be a uh, sort of a composition. It just needs to be bound, right? So you can't tear out the pages. So a couple examples. This one is one they have at the bookstore. They're pretty cheap. Um, you'd prefer to have one that has page numbers, right? If it doesn't have page numbers, you have to write them in yourself, but, but you can do that. Um, so another one is like this. Now this type does, typically doesn't have page numbers, so you'd have to write that in yourself. The other required uh, thing you'll need for lab is these uh, uh, safety goggles. Um, you can purchase these. I'd recommend purchasing these from the chemistry club. Uh, they'll be around in the first week of lab. Uh, they're usually pretty cheap, and all the money uh, goes to uh, the chemistry club at UCA, so it pays for their activities and things like that. So you can get these in a couple different styles from them. And then in addition, there's a couple of recommended uh, things we'd like you to purchase for a lab. Again, these aren't required, just recommended. One would be a Sharpie marker. This is really handy for writing on glassware and things like that. Uh, another would be uh, gloves. Uh, you don't necessarily need a box this big, but the gloves are really handy both in terms of uh, protecting yourself um, when you're handling chemicals, but also in protecting your sample. You get a fine in quantitative analysis that uh, you know, we were doing very sensitive measurements, and so uh, little bits of debris or little, you know, bits of oil from your hands can get on your glassware and can, can contaminate them. So uh, I'd recommend getting some of these. Again, you don't need a box this big. Um, so other than that, I'll see you all at class on Thursday and then in our lecture on Friday. See you then.